Chapter 9 Gallia Good morning, Ike. May I have a moment of your time? What is it? I'm listening. Our expenses, our ability to fight, the current status of our troops, these are all things you must know. I see. Having a grasp of that is part of the commander's job too, right? Understood. Let me hear it. Very well. After every battle from now on, Soren will come to us with the uh, report based on the previous uh, chapter. Everything we earned, spent, how much money we have, combat experience we have, bonus experience we earned, which I've been really bad about going over because I didn't really understand how it worked. Now I do. So on screen right now are the criteria needed for the first eight chapters to in order to maximize bonus experience, as well as uh, the conditions that cause it to uh, that cause you to earn less bonus experience. Uh, from now on, with each chapter coming up here, I will also be talking about uh, what is required uh, to earn the maximum amount of bonus experience. It'll also appear as text on the screen, specifically because there's a lot of information to go over depending on what difficulty you're playing. That's it. I think I've got most of it. I'll give you a report before each battle. I hope that it helps. I'm sure it will. Thank you. I'm relying on you for all the details. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Commander. I will do my best. But if I ever have your leave, I must be going. Or, but if I have your leave, I must be going. And we're back in here again. Uh, I'm gonna rush through this. Really, all I have to go over are the info and supports, and then uh, I'll just show you the weapon I make at the end of it. Th that's probably how most of this is gonna go. I'll also try to do my best to organize the troops before heading into battle because because I play the chapters of this in practice beforehand, I know exactly what I'll be doing so that once we jump into battle, we'll just be able to start immediately. Starting off though, supports. We've got a couple more considering uh, who's been deployed here, Ike and Soren. Definitely gonna want this one. And uh, also with that, we'll also be able to see what support bonuses look like in the field. So that's how much we spent. Supplies are running low. We need dried uh, meat, fresh fruit. Ike, are you listening? Huh? Oh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I would have never guessed. Sorry, Soren. Look, could you run the report by me again? You're tired, Ike. You need rest. Go find a cot somewhere. You can tell. Of course. When you're not feeling well, your left eye twitches. That's odd. I never noticed. Go get some sleep. I can manage things for a few hours. Well, I am pretty beat. Go. You know, Soren, you're not nearly as insensitive as others say. Deep down, you're a big softy. Excuse me? Oh, nothing. I'm going. Hmm. Don't let the bed bugs bite. That gives us a C rank there. The other one I'm going to go over as well, just because I'm... These two don't really have a lot of characters they can have supports with, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and have them talk it out as well. Titania and Reese. How are you feeling, Reese? Good. No fevers or shaking today. Thanks for asking. You know, I was just thinking about the first time we met. It was almost a year ago to this very day. Was it really? Oh, you're right. My time does fly. Of course, I don't remember much of the initial encounter since I was unconscious and bleeding. <laughs> remember that? I don't know why we didn't bring a healer with us that day. Finding bandits without a staff? Not smart. It was lucky that I found you. I didn't usually venture that deep into the forest, but I was short on medicinal herbs. Yeah, those bandits were a rough lot. Their stomping ground was right near your village, actually. It's all coming back to me now. They were tougher than I'd thought. We took most of them down with ease, but one fled into the woods and I gave chase. Big mistake. My horse got hung up in the overgrowth and that bandit got the drop on me. At least Shinon hit, it before I, hit him before I was killed. Gatry and Shinon were both really w worried when they brought you back to my parents' house. Really? I didn't know that. Hmm. I didn't think Shinon ever worried about anyone. But they stayed with me until my wounds were healed. I remember that. You know, if it wasn't for your good work, I wouldn't have been able to use an axe anymore. I really appreciate it. No, I should thank you. You convinced Grail to hire me, and now I can send money back to my parents. Since they're both so old, and I'm their only source of income. Your parents were very kind, especially your mother. She made that great wildberry pie. To pay their uh, kindness, I will protect their only son no matter what. Oh, I appreciate that, Titania. And you get to see a little bit more into Titania's relationship with Reese and why she, so, she was so protective of him when we first met. Next up, let's see what we got for info. Soren. Hmm. What's wrong, Soren? Are preparations complete? 
Yes, everything's ready. You have only a few robes uh, and uh, musty books. I'm taking a bit less, but it looks as though you travel light as well. The burden of the burden of unnecessary items is something I detest. Me too. We're a lot. Uh, we're alike in that, aren't we? Hmm. What is it? You've got that worried look again. Well, um, it's nothing. Never mind. Everyone's really slow, aren't they? Shall I go and see what's taking them? Soren, don't worry about it. Hmm? Sitting here in the morning in the sunlight, it helps me to understand. I'm alive, I have trustworthy friends. That's how I know I can go on. I just hope I'm not fooling myself. No, you're not. You're not. Well then, it's business as usual. I know we'll have troubles, but let us set our shoulders straight and get on with it. Understood. Aw, that was a nice little, little interaction there. Missed! Ah, uh, Ike! Good morning! Mm, morning. Are you alright? If I said I were, I'd be lying, but I'm doing my best! Yesterday I was so confused. Then I awoke this morning and saw the blue sky, felt the sun on my face, and thought, I'm alive! The sunlight was so warm. I mean, it's always warm, but for some reason it made me want to cry. Oh, Mist. It's up to us. We must live the fullest lives we can. We have to live for father and for mother. I got those backwards, but it doesn't matter. We mustn't dishonor their memory. So, um... I may think about them, and I may cry every now and then, but I'll carry on. You're right. Everything you said is right. We will carry on together. Right. Oh, sorry. I have to hurry and get ready. I'll see you later, brother. Yeah, look at the time. Get a move on, will you? What the fr- <laughs> I- I- Doing what exactly? <laughs> Wasn't Oscar the one in charge of meals? Speaking of Oscar. Hey, good morning, Ike. How are you feeling today? Yesterday's battle was a rough one, wasn't it? Hi, Oscar. Yeah, I'm sore all over. Every muscle in my body hurts. Hopefully I'll feel better after I move around for a while. I hope for the same. When I woke up, it was all I could do to get out of bed. We're lu truly lucky to be alive. If those two beast fighters hadn't arrived when they did, we might have all been wiped out. Yeah. Ike, I can't say I know what you're going through or how you feel, but you should try to remember all that happened last night. The men we fought were professionals, well-trained and under the command of a cunning tactician, but not invincible. You're saying they follow certain rules, specific patterns. Yes, I see. If I can learn what they are, they become vulnerable. The next time we meet, we won't lose. Ha! Huh. What? For, uh, for an instant there, you looking at you was like looking at Commander Grail. I'm his son. I'm supposed to look like him, aren't I? It wasn't that. And it wasn't an aura or a hunch or anything like that. I don't know what to call it. It was more like the core of your character. It felt the same as his. Huh. <laughs> Sorry. That must have sounded pretty stupid. Oscar? Commander? From now on when I practice, would you join me? I would be more familiar with uh, the fight- I, I would be more familiar with the fighting style of knights. Of course. If there's anything I can do to help, you need only to ask. Mia! One of our newest recruits. Oh, boss! Morning! Good morning. Are you ready to go? All set! Doesn't matter how late I go to sleep, I'm always awake before the sun rises. I leave- I can leave whenever. Um, I'm sorry, you know, for everything that's happened. It's all so sudden. Oh, it's nothing, but it's been pretty- uh, but it's been rough on you, hasn't it? I could say the same to you. It can't have been easy to join a- uh, joining a band of wanted mercenaries and fighting every day. Oh, it's not so bad. You were forced to join us by the whims of fate, not by choice. I know my father said you had a debt to repay, but he's not here anymore. If you want to leave, I won't stop you. Um, uh, ah! Ah, uh, what? Ooh, times, times like this. I never have any idea what I'm supposed to say. None! Ah, uh, darn, hold on. Yesterday in the middle of that giant mess, you didn't give up, boss, and I knew. That's how a true man lives. So now I have to follow you, you see? I think so. That's my story, boss, so do me a favor and don't tell me to get lost. I'm good to have around, you'll see. If that's how you feel, I guess I understand. I'm counting on you. Don't let me down. Never! I wouldn't know how! <laughs> She's simple, I like her. Mordecai. Ike, are you prepared? We can de uh, Can we depart soon? It's taking more time than I thought. I'm sorry for making you wait. I see. Then I will talk with you as we wait. Ugh, my words. Are they well? Can you understand them? Sure, no problem. I understand you. That's, that is good. Mordecai is not so good with his language. What language do you normally use? 
With others of my tribe. I, with others of my tribe, I need no words. I say all that I must with gestures and with, how do you say, growls. That sounds convenient. Yes, but our tongue does not let us talk to other tribes. That is not good. That is why we learn these modern words. I would think that it w that would be enough, being able to speak with only your friends, wouldn't it? It is not. If there is danger or conflict, we can use words to avoid fighting that not be, uh, that need not be. So using words that many can hear is good. Hmm. Using words to avoid unnecessary fighting. That's one way to think about it. Alright. Now that we got that out of the way, give me a minute to get everybody's equipment set up and get everyone ready for the next chapter. Before I moved on, uh, move on, one of the items we picked up in the last battle was the red gem. This is specifically for selling. A moderately valuable gemstone can be sold for a decent price. If, you, uh, if you're able to pick up these gems, your really only option is to sell them, so make sure when you do get them, you are selling them. Okay, before we go, I want to level up Reese with bonus experience. Please be good. Really good! Wow! Wish you got a little bit of defense, but, you know, with, with six uh, stat-ups there, I cannot be, like, I can't be upset at that. Alright, I think I've got everyone I need ready, so let's head out! This place brings back such memories. It hasn't changed in the slightest. Titania, have you been to Gallia before? A long time ago, when I was still a Knight of Crimea. I volunteered for a military officer exchange program and spent some time studying at Gallia's royal palace. I get it now. That's why you weren't surprised when we saw the Lagoos. That's right. Ah, I've missed the sea. When the setting sun strikes the water, it's almost as if the horizon itself is on fire. Hmm. Now that I think about it, my father knew where that old castle was. He sure acted like someone who had been to Gallia before. Was he here with you? Mm-hmm. And we weren't the only ones. You've been here too, Ike. What? <laughs> Ike! It's Mordecai. You'd better answer him. Yeah, but... We can finish our talk later, after we've reached the castle. Well, that was cryptic. What is it, Mordecai? Do you tire? Should we rest here? No, I think we're all right. Good. Bayork are such a weak species. A distance like this is nothing. Any lagoos worth his claws could cross it in a single bound. Lethe! <laughs> it is the truth. If you persist in this way, you will shame the king. You sound like a fool. Shh! <laughs> you are my subordinate. Never speak to me in such a way. What's wrong is wrong. You are a fierce warrior, Lethe, but when it comes to the Bayark, you are far too stubborn. What did you say? Come on now, both of you. Let's calm down. Mordecai. Wait. What is it? That smell in the wind. It's iron. It's the smell of weapons. The smell of Bayork. Heavily armored. Well armed. Are you sure? Uh, uh, pretty sure. General Kotov, the Crimean mercenaries have entered our, our area of operations. Ha, they're trapped. Call every last man. Ready for battle. We stop the enemy here. Fort Tatana. Which is on Galleon soil, so... It's a little strange that they're here, huh? Black armor. They're day and men, all right. You're saying that some of the invasion force is still around? Day and worms. They strut about the Galleon forest as though they, they owned them. I won't stand for it. <sighs> that castle to the south. Many Bayork are inside. They carry iron weapons. I smell them. Not good. Titania, gather everyone together. Ha! Huh, understood. What now? What do you mean? If you hope to crush the worms, you do well to capture the ruins in the south. Since you probably want to flee, there is an escape route. We're going to fight. Oh? There are times when running has its advantages, but I don't think we'll lose here. I see. I will also fight. Good. We could use the help. Ike, everyone's here. All right, let's go. I want you two to take Mist and Rolf and retreat to the rear. Of course! We'll be counting on you. Be careful. Everyone who can fight, grab a weapon. Grail mercenaries, move out! Grail mercenaries, roll out. What we're dealing with here are mostly soldiers. Uh, mostly spear and axe wielders. I think there might be like one or two Myrmidons throughout here. 
You're gonna find that sword fighters are, are far and few between in these early chapters. Well, there's two. Two total, but... Most of these are spear guys and act guys. Mostly spears and some bows. Maybe I'm looking too far into this. We also have a pirate up here with a new weapon type, the Venom Axe. An axe whose blade conceals a poison reservoir. Unit hit, uh, hits with this will be poisoned. Poisoned goes by the conditions. Uh, dealing, I believe, 10% of the unit's max HP each turn for a limited amount of turns. Uh, this can be healed off with things like antitoxin and uh, specific staves. Um, but until you get those, you're going to be taking damage if you get hit with a venom uh, any any venom weapons rather. We got two uh, buildings up here that we can get some uh, equipment from, and we have our units down here. In terms of what I got everyone outfitted with, and where I'm going to end up positioning everybody, I actually think everyone's positioned the way I want them to. I think the only difference is I want. Oh no! Actually, no, not everyone is. Uh, I just need to check the map here real quick. Son of a biscuit. Yeah, okay. Um, maybe switch Ilyana. There we go. Okay. Uh, my goal is to have these three head up north uh, in order to handle the units on the beach, whereas I'll have the rest of these come down here and take on a siege of the castle. You'll notice that Mordecai and Lethe are both uh, yellow units right here. We'll get into that a little bit more once we start. But for now, I think we are all well and good. Let's get a safety save in here. And let's begin the fight. Ike! Miss, you and Rolf clear out of here. No matter what, stay back. No, Ike! We're going to fight with you, both of us! What? No, that's not going to happen. Be serious, Miss. The two of you can't even wield weapons. I've got this! I've got this! A heal staff. Yeah, I made Reese teach me how to use it. I can heal injuries. I mean, just little ones, but still. Little ones? No, there's no way I'm letting you onto this battlefield. Huh? Hi, Rolf. Rolf, stop being such a brat, you little twerp. I'm going to fight too. I'm good with a bow. Really? That's news to me. Is that the best lie you could come up with? It's no lie. That's right, he's not lying. Of course he is. What are you talking about, Mist? Rolf's always practicing with his bow, and he's really good, aren't you? I sure am. And when did you learn how to use a bow? Let's see, um, I guess I just sort of naturally picked it up? Stop lying, you booger eating brat! You can't just pick up a weapon and start firing away. Someone has to teach you the basics. Well, maybe I'm just a prodigy, because I learned it all myself. You little... You don't know anything, Boyd! That's right! This is ridiculous! Enough, you two go back. No, we don't want to! All Rolf, all, uh, all Rolf and I do is sit and wait and worry about all of you. We're tired of waiting. We want to fight by your side. Is that so? How about it, Rolf? Is that how you feel? Uh-huh. No doubt. We'd rather be with you. <sighs> what now, Commander? We take them with us. We're too pressured for time to sit around here bickering. And at least they're nearby. A at least if they're nearby, they'll be easier to protect. Are you serious? Yes! You won't regret this, Ike! I promise! I hope not. As the battle begins, we get into our new unit, starting off with Rolf! Rolf is the predecessor to the sniper, which Sheenon was, the archer. Uh, similar to snipers, they could only use bows, so they could only attack from uh, two or more unit uh, areas away. Uh, dude was extremely low level, it's gonna be difficult to level him up, but um, he's got pretty good stat ups. And the fact that he starts off low level is similar to Soren's uh, advantage in a way where you can get him uh, some pretty decent stat ups uh, better than if you found him later at a higher level. Um, although, he may not be able to match Sheenon in speed or luck, Rolf will be able to match him in every other stat with the right investment. On top of that, his bow is specific to him. Only he could use it, and it is a special bow with more might, hit, and crit than a lot of the, uh, the, a lot of the weapons we've been using. Plus, it's got a very low weight. Uh, weight. So even with his uh, strength of five, he's still getting six. Uh, he's still getting the full six speed with it. It's uh, it's pretty dang wild. Plus, the uh, the increased damage, accuracy, and crit of the bow gives him more of a fighting chance, at, even at level one. Uh, he's our first wind element attribute, and he's got no skills starting off. 
Next up, we've got Mists, another level one unit, and to boot, she cannot attack. She is specifically a cleric. Heavy, heavy, heavy EXP investment is gonna be required to make her viable. Uh, because of her low starting magic, she's only going to be healing for around 14 health, and everyone's HP is way higher than that. Reese is just the better healer overall. However, that's not to say that she's completely useless. When she promotes, she becomes the Valkyrie class, which is able to ride a horse as well as use swords. Now, her strength stat isn't going to be doing anything special, but the fact that uh, she'll have swords gives her at least a fighting chance if she's cornered. On top of that, giving her a mount gives her the opportunity to get into a position, heal someone, and get out of there because of how mounted units work. On top of that, her miracle skill reduces uh, reduces any lethal blow to half damage. I was wrong about uh, the miracle skill in the uh, the other episode. This is what it does. Any time Mist would be hit with a lethal blow, it would deal half as much damage instead. For example, if she was hit with 18 damage on uh, with her 16 HP here, she would be reduced to 7 left. This only works, though, if uh, she is able to take the, uh, the hit at half damage. Alright, and with that, we still got one other thing to go over here. Well, two things, actually. First off, we got Mordecai and Leafy here. If we select Ike and put him in place, we have Direct. Direct is very similar to Order. We have Rome, which means that they'll just sort of do what they want. In this case, they'll just advance on the uh, on the fort here. Uh, we've got Halt, making them stop in place. We've got Tardic, uh, Tardic, Target. When we select that, we can pick a spot on the map, uh, and I believe it's any spot, and just ha send them to that. It does not target specific units; it targets spots on the map, and they will start heading in their direction. And finally, avoid, just having them avoid combat altogether. Whew. There's a lot to go over there, but I think we did a pretty darn good job here. On the screen right now are the clear conditions for bonus EXP. This one is a straightforward turns to clear. We've got eight turns to clear it for the maximum amount of bonus EXP that we were able to get. On top of that, in hard mode. Uh, yes, in hard mode, uh, it's more or less the same, uh, except as you approach the boss, reinforcements appear on all difficulties, and on harder difficulties, more Myrmidons start spawning. Alright, so now that we got everything out of the way here, let's start moving out. I want to get to a good position here with Mia. I want to stay out of the position of this caster, who's got Thunder. I'm so glad that Thunder isn't like it is in... Uh... Is it like how it is in, in Engage, where it's like a range of three? I mean, like, let's be real, that's useful, but at the same time, it's also kind of a pain in the butt. I think just for safety, well, let's see, what are, what are we working with here? This gentleman, Polax, oh, he's not going to be attacking me twice anytime soon. Iron Sword might be, might be okay. I think I will go with the Iron Sword, actually. If for nothing else, the increased avoid rate. And then Boyd coming up behind her. Ilyana coming up here. That's a cliff, so she can't actually go that way. I'm gonna have I'm having Mist and Rolf join uh, this away team up here as well. Oh shoot! I didn't get a chance to show it off because they were too far away. On the screen, I could have seen what what the the bonuses we would have got from this. Uh, each character gets not only the bonuses from the person they talked with, but the bonus from their own attribute as well, and it multiplies based on how many ranks you have um, in in support. Either ranks or how many people you've spoken to. For example, if Ike was close to Soren, based on what we know from this, he would have an extra avoid of seven. Uh, Dark improves. Attack by 0.5 and uh, avoid by uh, 2.5, and Earth Im improves avoid by uh, 5.0, making making Ike very useful at dodging a lot of stuff. Uh, the decimal places are always rounded down. Uh, just uh, just FYI here, so that's why he doesn't get any attack bonus for being near him. But I'm putting him far away from him because that's just how I'm kind of rolling with this one here. We have a sword user up here, so Boyd is going to use the new weapon I made for him. Das Pokin! Uh, I gave it the maximum amount of um, might it could have, and also improved the accuracy by a factor of 20. 
Uh, this cost me probably around like 2,500, I suppose. But given, given Oscar's proclivities here, very hard to make him work properly the way I want him to. I'm gonna keep the Iron Axe out because I kind of want to waste the uses on that, and then just move everyone else forward, including Reese. I do want... I guess I can keep what I have here. Oh, I wanted to direct. Shoot, I wanted to put... I wanted the Legus to join, um... To join uh, the beach, the the, uh, the beach squad. Although this is actually a blessing in disguise, because I had I can have them go for uh, for different units here. Das Pokin. Das Pokin is an Iron Lance, just BT dubs. All right, Polax. This we got Vantage coming up here. Ooh, I should have had Slice and Sue on. Good lord, I'm doing no damage here. The mage approaches. The pirates aren't very interested in battle. By the way, what it, what is it? If there's some special task you would ask of us, we are willing to listen. What are you talking about? Bah, open your ears. If you wish it, we shall. If you wish it, we shall follow your orders. <laughs> But you must direct us. Really, you're willing to take orders from me. This is a Bay Orc fight. If you don't direct us, then we have no reason for being here. So spoke our king. But last night, you. That, that was an emergency. We thought you were in danger. You thought correctly, we were in danger. I thank you. We were greatly aided by your arrival. You are welcome. Hmm. <laughs> Very well, let us fight together. If you choose not to direct us, we shall do as we please. Do you find this acceptable? Of course. Well then, good fortune to us all. And speaking of which, I am going to direct a target. I'm gonna have them come up this way. Move out of the target area. Actually, I think, yeah, order does the same thing if I if I don't have uh, units selected. Basically, I, I want them to be able to, uh, to uh, start like, I wouldn't say attacking all of them, but they can at least take this guy out, because he's gonna be a pain in the butt. Um. I need to I need to work on getting this guy as quickly as possible. Can't really go very far with any of these guys here. He's Rolf's bow on him, who deal eight damage total. I need to be dealing a lot more than that. Let's have Ilyana come up here. Uh that would be 14 damage versus uh 24 damage. Considering I'm trying to level up Rolf, because he is a good archer, I think I will use Ilyana's, uh, shtick here. That said, Elf Hunter does have an increased crit chance, which does put me in somewhat of an awkward position if I don't do what needs to be done here. Uh, let's have Rolfy boy come over here and finish him off. Go down he goes. And because he's level one, look at all that EXP he gains. I'm gonna try to have him finish off as many people as possible. I did put him in a very precarious situation though. Uh, let's see. Let me check this guy's range here. Anybody get hurt? No. Okay, if I put Mia here, I can block her from, uh, I can block her from, like, get, I can block, uh, Rolf from getting hurt. Uh, at this, and at the same time, you know, he wouldn't be able to run. Actually, if I put him here, then Rolf would be able to get another piece of combat in. Let's see, what is his resistance like? Two versus the attack coming from this of ten. With a speed of five. And speed is six, so he wouldn't get hit twice. He would take a significant chunk of damage, though. Also, I'm pretty sure they just go for me anyway, so I'm probably I'm, I'm just gonna advance her as far as possible. Let me make sure this guy can't do anything host, uh, hostile here. And then we'll get you into position here. I still have the iron sword equipped. Well, it doesn't matter because nothing else in here can really get to him. Coming around this side, though, I think I do want Oscar to kill with Das Pokin. Or I can leave it up to uh, Ike and Boyd. 
Yeah, maybe I could have, uh... Well, let me check the range of these guys here, because they're going to be our next targets coming up. Yeah, Boyd can take care of that. I can barely not make it there, but that's fine. I'm just going to Iron Axe this guy. 60% chance... Well, I guess he is a Myrmidon, after all. Uh, let's... Even on speed, he would take... Nine damage. It's fine. If if it turns out this doesn't work out, I could always heal him with Reese. That was a it was a risk, but it it ended up paying off in the end. Plus, I could heal with Reese. Uh, speaking of healing staff, heal. He can use it with Das Poken. I think he actually might be able to kill this caster with Das Poken. Uh, yes. Yes, he would. Okay. Let's get you the heals, then. Healing, healing up! Uh, let's get Oscar over here to attack. Do I even need to use Das Pokin? I probably do need to use Das Pokin. I, I hope I can come up with as many clever weapon names as possible, just FYI. One thing I forgot to go over as well, and I'll go over it again next chapter just so you can see it. The weapons are constantly rotating of what you can forge, as well as what you can buy. Wait here, what do you have? A steely lance. Iron axe. Uh, 15 hitting twice. Yeah, this guy's toast. Did I, I did heal. I'm pretty sure I healed. God, I hope I healed. Considering everyone's doing well and Ike's already pretty high level as it is, I think I'm just gonna have... I think I might have Ike actually join the upper route there. What would be a shorter path to go, though? Uh... I, I'm gonna say up. Actually, it'd probably be better if I went straight. Alright, is that everyone? Partner phase! They're going in for the attack. Here we go. Ooh, a crit! Hot diggity dang. I also didn't really go over the mechanics of uh, Lagoos, but I, that's not terribly important right now. They're trying to go for Mordecai. He's got so much HP, and with good reason as to why he's got that much HP. Oh, I actually did screw up the equipment on this. It's fine, though. She took quite a chunk of damage there. Because I really want to take this guy out as quickly as possible. Um, okay. Just for... Giggles here. Well, I wouldn't really say just for giggles, but just to make sure that Mia doesn't, you know, die. Ilyana come over here. Ilyana does eight damage with that. Rolf is doing eight and nine. Ugh. Does she get two attacks with wind? She does for eight damage. Really? There's no difference? Son of a biscuit. How much damage is he dealing to the pirate? Uh... Seven. How much is Ilyana dealing with Slice and Sue? Six, nineteen... Thirteen damage per hit. Twenty-six, leaving him with seven HP left exactly! I, oh yeah, I was confident that that guy was gonna miss because the Venonax is very inaccurate. And Mia gets a level up! Nice! 
And of course, just all the speed on her. She is so fast. Seven HP, seven damage. I like the way this looks. We didn't get hit with the Venonax either, so that's good. Uh, Ilyana. Come on over here. And wind him. Come on over here. And wind him. Zap. The reason I like the uh, the team composition of the top like this is for the sake of getting, I mean, if you plan on using Mist, then, then it'd be a good idea to, to do so, but getting Mist and Rolf some experience without putting them too far into the, into the fray of battle. I could probably get Rolf um, leveled up. Oh. <laughs> oh no! 20 to his six defense. He's taking 14. Well, good thing it missed is here. How much defense does she have? Three. So 17. I have her equipped with wind, so that's good. She won't be like, at least she won't be dying. I, uh, man, I did some real bad positioning here. Well, it's also possible that the, uh, that this guy will just go for leafy. Actually, I could, I could change that. Direct, target, uh... Since I don't want them to take too much of the battle experience, because they do not have a lot left in terms of, like, units coming up here, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and have them retreat a little bit. So come back here. Why did I even bring Ike up here? Uh, oh right, we got a lot to deal with. Yep, I, so I th I'm pretty sure I did screw up. Yeah, he should have a hammer. He 100% should have a hammer. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can get some of these other guys to start coming towards us here too. What is your range? You're an archer, so you should have great range. Can I kill with the steel axe? Um, no, actually. For 12 damage per hit. Well, I'm at least putting someone in kill range here, so there is that. Although they might prioritize Mor uh, Mordecai because of his uh, because he can't do anything in human form. Ba da ba da bomb. And wait. Let's see. Boyd. You're dealing 13 damage per hit. You actually killed this guy. Wow, okay, so, uh, man, I... I thought differently here. Bam. Miss. Bam. Down they go. <sighs> Level up! Not bad, not bad. Could have done with a little bit more defenses, but improved strength and skill are always good. Uh, he could probably kill him with just a steel spear. He could probably kill him with the with the with the javelin even. But that has a low lower chance of hitting than the steel spear, so I'm just gonna go with the steel spear. Can't depend on Das Pokin for everything. If he had missed there, that would have been perfect timing. Das Pokin. There. Oh, I didn't even think of anybody needed healing. Well, so much for that. Who wasn't? Oh, Soren hasn't gone yet. I can't reach that guy. I could at least put Soren between. Oh wait, <laughs> no, I had Soren here for specifically to target this guy. Oh man, eight damage per hit, and I'm hitting twice. God, I really want to get rid of this uh, this wind spell book, but. I wouldn't be able to kill that guy if uh, if I if I had done that. Plus, using wind element gives me the uh, the weapons triangle advantage, so I'm okay with that. 
Wind is Soren's main element, and it's pretty easy to see why. Lightweight and easy to use. There was actually, uh, they were selling Rex Calibur in the shop, but it was very expensive. Good level up! No strength, though, so as long as his speed keeps going up, it's gonna be... helpful. The enemies go, of course, yep. They're attacking Rolfi boy. He should live? Especially if it misses. Oh boy. Oh, here they come. Is the mage coming as well? Nope. Oh, ho! Look familiar? Let's see now. Where are they? Aha! I found them! And this is why I had Ike waiting back. Because we've got three different types of units on the field. We have other, we've got, where are they? We've got partner, we've got our guys, and then we've got their guys. So many different units out here. Okay. Anybody need healing? Soren and Mia, technically, but not gonna worry about that. What I am gonna worry about is trying to do as much damage to... Well, let's see, how much damage... Because... You do... You do 10 damage to him, 4 damage to him. Uh, 12 damage. Yep, that, as long as- uh, <laughs> I'm banking on him not getting a crit or a depth. Let's see if, if I get either of those. An iron sword here on the soldier. No crit or a depth in the first one. He- why did I think he could attack twice? Oh, that put a real damper on what I wanted to do. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh... Oh no. Okay. What is his speed? I really miscalculated that. His speed is 12. Yeah, no wonder Soren couldn't do anything about that. Who's the bigger risk? He can't hit for beans. And he'll likely get in two attacks on pretty much everybody in my party. 14 to his... 6 defense. I mean, he'd... Again, I'm in the camp of, well, he'd live. Let's get rid of the axe guy. 11 damage per hit on that. Bring him down to 10. Oh my god, how how does this keep going so, so smoothly for me? I should also probably make sure that Mist is nowhere near this guy. Because Mist speed is 7. Pretty sure we're safe here? Did anybody else come up from over here? Wouldn't be the first time I've screwed this up horrifically. Alright, uh, 10 damage. Uh, symbol 10 damage. Let's go. Boink. Boink. Very fast pokes. Poking a man here. Hey, level up! Please get some good level ups. I'm investing EXP in you. Not bad! Strength, skill, speed, and luck are all very good for him. Could have done with a little bit of HP. Did I screw this up? 14. To 6. 8 damage per hit. He's fine. He's quote unquote fine. I can't even get close to the people I want to heal. Oh, what what webs we weave! <laughs> I'm sorry, I love that it's like, it just comes up with shove! I can just have Ilyana... <laughs> I can just have Ilyana kill Rolf! <laughs> God, that'd be brutal! Alright, who is a guardian up here? Still waiting on that. 
Oh man, that's so funny. Hey, you wanna just kill him? I think we just kill Rolf, is that a good idea? Oh, how much damage are you dealing? 15 per hit with that. I'll kill him. Maybe I want Boyd to get the experience though. Uh, 17 damage per hit with a 93% chance to hit. I think we're fine. <laughs> just, just Ilyana gets introduced to Rolf and is like, I hate this kid. I hate this kid. I spit on him. I'm gonna go over here just because he's using an uh, an, an arching weapon. I am gonna need. I really hope Marsha comes over and actually speaks to Ike. Oh, who could have guessed this happening? Yikes! Yep, figures. All right. This is the end of turn four, I think. There we go! Ike! You, you're that. That's right, it's me, Marsha! As promised, I'm here to pay my debt. I'm gonna join your group! Join us, but I thought you were one of the Holy Pegasus Knights of Binyan. <laughs> I resigned. So what do you say, are you gonna let me in or what? Come on! Are you sure about this? I mean, I'll be honest with you, we're a destitute band of mercenaries. Your wages will be a pittance compared to what you're used to. So what, are you saying no? No, I'm simply pointing out that you'll be losing almost all of... <laughs> I won't lose out on anything. Plus, I'll work twice as hard as anyone else. Come on, please let me join, please. Well, if that's what you want, I guess we'll give it a shot. We're short-handed though, so you're going to be busy. Huzzah, that's great. Just tell me what needs, to go what needs doing. Look at all those units coming out. And we get these guys. Yahoo! Yahoo ha! Scallywags of the COE. We fought like beasts in men do flay. We earn our gold with axes bold. Ah, oh, you skilled scurvy build drab. Why aren't you singing? Oh, over there, Nedada. Fix your eyes on that. Do you see what I see? Ho <laughs> ho, what's this then? Humans battling humans here in Gallia. What in the brawny beard of Shandy Pete is going on? Oi, you think that maybe the king's cursed uh, out to capture us and claim a bounty? <laughs> Shall we infer the may sail and steer for Carver Walters? Bite your tongue, you kelp brain idiot! We're pirates! We don't turn tail from government scum! We're going ashore! Watch me and you'll see a true sea dog in action! Yahaha! <laughs> <laughs> well said! You set me blood a boil! I'm with you all the way, matey! Ah! Let's see what we can see then! Yar! Me axe is sharp and me spirit is bold! Yahaha! <laughs> Yahoo! har so now we got these two. Probably related to the pirates that I killed before. Uh, attack of 11. She should have good resistance to seven. Really? Okay. These two are going to try to burn these houses down. I'm not going to let them. Ilyana, I need to deal at least 10 damage to this guy. With wind, I'm dealing seven. With thunder, I'm dealing 12. 64% chance to hit though. This is probably gonna, this is gonna determine how the rest of this turn goes for me. S son of a bitch. Uh, no, this is, Need him to be further forward. Iron Blade will deal. Man, he's got high defense. Slices Sue will kill him. Attack with Wind for 12 more damage. God, they are they are tied when it comes to speed. Never mind, he's killing him. 
I got screw me for one Rolf to get some experience. At least he leveled up once. You know, in Fire Emblem Awakening, that's the requirement for getting Donald to join you. Actually, that is exactly the amount that she's able to heal to get him back up to full. All right. Scallywags of the CB we. Watch as we laugh with girlish glee. Hee 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 Uh, if I were attacking twice, that would be enough. He's taking seven damage from that. Actually, that's. Yeah, let's do it. He might crit as well, so. I, just I'm looking at like everything I got going on here. I'm pretty sure he can't die from this. He said with hope in his heart. The crit would have been so good. Zap. Yeah, eight damage. Nothing doing there. Um. I shove him. All right, next on my agenda. Okay. Ike goes here. Waits. Marsha! Whom we haven't gone over yet! Marsha is a Pegasus Knight! <laughs> I can't believe I waited for that. Our first Pegasus Knight. Pegasus Knights are flying mounted units. They can move very quickly, and they can also move over terrain that you normally can't move over. Making them very versatile and are very easy to move in and out of battle. Uh, her high skill and speed make, make sure she's going to be attacking uh, often and will be dodging often as well. Most Pegasus Knights usually have better resistance than Marsha has, but given Marsha's stat spread, she's more like a flying Myrmidon using a lance. It's very, very bizarre seeing her uh, like that. Um, and a lot of the times they don't they don't have nearly this good a strength starting off so her having eight strength off the bat is really good <laughs> She is however very frail so it, it is gonna take some investment to level her up especially considering where we're at but if you get a lot of bonus experience from uh, from these fights then you should be all well and good but what I'm gonna use Marsha for at the moment is a bus. Well, oh, this is awkward. Can he kill with, uh, not short spear. Das Pokin? He cannot kill with Das Pokin. They are joking with Das Pokin. Uh, nobody's really taking any damage. Although I do think I will have, I will make for a retreat here. Yeah, because you know what I could do? I can steel axe this guy and kill him. Uh, not very accurate, but... It's an older reference. It's an older reference, sir, but it checks out. Steel! Eh. Steel! Like a lot of bosses in this, no matter how close we get, the mages and the boss himself will not move. At least I don't think so. Was she, in she was definitely in range of that guy, so yeah. I mean, here's the thing. I could probably Iron Axe him and... Oh no, I can't kill him that way. Well, okay, there. my strategy was gonna be to Das Poke in him, but... And I really wanna get rid of the Archer just so we're done with that. I can... Oh, actually, Das Poke will not kill him either. So, the strategy shall be as follows. Uh, Iron Axe this guy. Das Poke in the Myrmidon. If it turns out I'm wrong, and everybody and their grandmother comes out to attack him, then... I mean, so many people are gonna be attacking Boyd anyway. He's the axe guy. Good bit of, good bit of, uh, of experience there. Oh god, I wish Das Pokin did a little bit more. If I get the crit, that'd be good, but Das Pokin can only do 16 of his 25 health. What do they got? Javelins. 
Well, I gotta bring Reese forward anyway so he can heal heal up um, Oscar. Cause if they if they just dogpile Oscar, then he's gonna be screwed. Pretty sure it's everybody. Yes, they're just gonna hang out there because I directed them to. Meanwhile. Good dodge, Rolf. Good dodge. Interesting. I guess it's because of weapons triangle, but I thought they would have probably gone for... Yep, no, he was... He sh Maybe you should have been a little bit less confident in that! Yep, that fig... That, that checks. Fortunately, Reese has got a pretty decent chunk of health, so even if he got hit, he wouldn't be suffering too much here. You're going for Boyd! That, whenever they go for Boyd, I'm just so happy. I mean, like, they, they try. They try so hard. And Boyd gets another level up. Boyd is doing really well this time around. Not bad. Speed up too. Would like the defenses! And his axe level increased. And another pirate is here! <laughs> Um, I think I need to wait one more turn before I could actually drop Ike off. Meanwhile, yeah, I got I I need the motor to like to cut these two off. Just checking healths here. Anybody like needs a significant amount of healing, she can't reach. Just go ahead and do. He, he started with a vulnerary, right? Yeah, that that would have been stupid if they came out to battle without a without a vulnerary. I feel like that would have made people like absolutely hate Rolf and Mist if they came out without self healing. For whatever reason, I missed that. That would have been like the end of the world. I also need to be very careful because like just because they can they can move throughout there doesn't mean that they're like limited to that that space. What am I trying to say? Wait. Oh, one thing I didn't go over as well, which you're not gonna see here because I had none of them come over here. Uh, sand, because this is a beach, because it is sandy. Uh, mounted units have their speed cut in half. We're on turn six. Uh, ooh. They have any droppables? No, they're basically just free experience. Nadata as well is uh is um level 18, so he's gonna drop a ton of experience once he's dead. Please tell me Dust Pokin will kill this guy. Dust Pokin! Oh my god, Dust Pokin will actually kill? Oscar! Congratulations, man! Oscar is dust poking? Get him into position so you can do something against this guy. Uh, I want to move. Well, depending on how I position them, they w he's not going to be able to get to them, so... Let's go ahead and heal you up. Boyd. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to I'm gonna stand in front of this guy. How much damage is he dealing to me? Ten. If I have the Iron Axe. Yeah, okay. I'm not gaining any speed from that. Take this guy out in one hit and then just like focus on him later. Maybe I should have the Iron Axe just for the additional accuracy. I'm still doing two hits on him. Actually, no, I'm doing one hit on him with this. Uh, die. All right, I've limited his movement severely, but he's only gonna be able to attack one guy. 
Uh, wow, is, wait, Boyd is stronger than Titania now? 14, 16, wow, I, di I didn't notice that he had outpaced her. At least in terms of damage, let's just go Steel Axe just to take around one hit. I'd rather not risk the one damage. I'll just do this. <laughs> I wonder if maybe I should have brought Marsha and, uh, and Ike down to the beach. Because even though she's mounted, she's flying, so she can get over that pretty easily. Partner phase, they're doing nothing. Enemies! Night Killer! Death to the rogues who defy Dayan. Defend our brethren and erase their shame! God, there's only so far you can go with any of these guys. It's turn seven right now. How? I don't think I can make it. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm, I'm gonna be losing out on some bonus experience because I had Ike go back for Marsha. I mean, Ike did nothing this time around, so. Meanwhile. Uh, he'll be able to step up onto the shore. Ralph, why don't you go over here and visit this house? You're from Crimea, aren't you? I'm a warrior from, of the Beast Tribe. Lord Ranulf spoke of you. Doubtless you have noticed that Fort Titana has been taken by Dayan forces. Watch your step around that bunch. There's a dangerous mage with them. We of the Beast Tribe find magic, especially fire magic, particularly threatening. I'm waiting for, fr uh, for friends and cannot leave this house. Leave, uh, take leave of this house, but I would give you this. If you use it, your magical resistance will increase. It will help you fight against that mage. Take care. We got the talisman! A, uh... A stat improvement item that increases resistance by two. Considering how far they can move, I think it might be better if I do this. And I'll have Ileana go and check out this place. Humans, yeah. Um. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, come on! You are so rude. If you can't tell, I'm playing dead. So go away. Huh? Why? Because my mother, mo my mother told me if you ever met a Bay Orc, play dead, and it'll leave you be. It's not true, is it? Shh! I knew it wasn't true. I knew it. Well, then take this and get out of here quickly. I hate humans. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Shoo! Restore! Restore, uh, cures? A staff that restores a unit to normal condition. Basically meaning that if they have a condition on them, um, they will be, well, restored. Which is very useful considering we got the Venon Axe users here. Venon Axe, uh, let's go ahead and wait. And, oh yes, we are contending with some dangerous fellows here. Can you make short spear of him? I mean short work of him. I mean spear him. I mean spear him the moment. He, j he just crit him. Who wants the experience? I wish I could have gotten Marsh up there. Definitely could have benefited from it. How, what level is he, 14? He's almost beaten out Ike. That's the case. Maybe I should give it to Titania. Yeah, Boyd's got some pretty good chutzpah here. Almost, honestly, almost matching Titania in stats. I'll still give it to Boyd though, because he, to get him to match Titania in stats. Uh, let's see. Thirteen damage is all I need. In the name of the Empire, cleanse my shame. Damn it. Good level up for Boyd. He's now higher level than Ike. Okay, he's finally getting defenses, and his speed went up too, meaning he'll be able to attack more. 
And we got an arm scroll. Arm scrolls increase uh, the weapon level of the weapon that is currently equipped. So I guess just for him, it will inc increase by B. Uh, it increases axe skill to A, actually. Wow. We don't even have any axes that come close to that. And if I'm not mistaken, only Ike can seize. Yes. Oh, wait. Oh, that. If I had thought about that sooner, I could have done something better with that. I needed I needed an extra turn anyway, so it didn't matter. One thing I, did, I haven't talked about with rescue either is that when you rescue someone, uh, based on who you're rescuing and how much they weigh, I or something along those lines. Give me one second here, because we're about to do this. Uh, when you rescue someone, your your stats go down. Thirteen damage per hit on that. Uh, Rolf should be able to take him out, but... Oh, oh no. Uh-oh. Oh, he deals... Mmm, okay. We're probably gonna... We're probably gonna need the whole crew. Would one wind finish him off? Yes. Fare thee well, pirate chum! Dude. Oh no, wind broke. As if I didn't predict that was going to happen. Slices Sue is dealing... 11 damage per hit on him. Ralphie boy is dealing uh, 6 damage per hit and hitting once. Let me see how much her attacks are going to be dealing here. Eight and she could hit once. Or 13. Okay, I think we go in with Slice and Sue. We get the two hits off with Slice and Sue. Scallywags of the sea are we? We earn our gold with axes bold. Damn it! Did she really crit twice? Scallywags of the sea are we? And then, like, this is quite worthy. Oh. Maybe I won't be using Rolf if he can't get any end hits in. Alright, anybody need health? A scarf? I mean, I do gotta wait a turn anyway, so there's a chance that I'll be able to, uh, to... get, um... Get Rolf some experience by fighting this guy. Unless if I'm if I rescue Ike, can he? No, we can't capture if I if I've got Ike. Uh, go ahead and whoa, wait, is he fully healed? I guess I missed that. Staff heal Titania. So unfortunately, I'm not getting all the bonus experience, but. I am getting Reese a little bit of extra experience. Drop Ike off there, and that's his turn. Let me see if I can get Marsha down here to do something. I mean, there's like, there's not, there's not a lot we could do right now, man. Partner phase. She turned back, he turned into a cat. Mia, are you gonna steal this one too? Nope. Finally, Rolf can get some experience. Is another pirate coming? I don't understand why I couldn't have seized this last turn. Because you're just baby boy, Ike. You're just baby boy and you couldn't do it properly. Good, level three. Let's see what, what he's, we're dealing with here on his... Uh, strength speed, not bad. Could be better, I wish he was getting health! And there's quite literally nothing left for us to do, so let's go ahead and seize the day! We defeated their commander, but we still don't know what they were after. It seems unlikely that they were merely pursuing Princess Alincia. I wonder if Dayan is planning to invade Gallia. Perhaps Crimea was a sto uh, only a stone uh, with which to wet their blades. On which to wet their blades. No matter the motive, the fact remains that Dayan crossed the border. 
Under such circumstances, hostilities between Dayan and Gallia could break out at any time. So it's war. Again. If war erupts between Bayork and Lagoose, it's only a matter of time before other nations become involved. Could Dayan truly mean to set the land aflame in a blaze of war? If that happens, many of our citizens will be sacrificed in the altar of their ambition. We too need to choose which way to move. Whose side to take? Whose side? We shall never support Dayan. Unthinkable! Captain Titania, we are human. Would you truly have a side with sub- with Lagoos against other humans? That is unthinkable. Bayork and Lagoos. Are you going to sit there and argue about a war that hasn't started? You Bayork are all so timid. It's pathetic. Lethe, you must not say such things! Mordecai, Lethe, what do you think? Will it come to war? Our claws are sharp. If Dayan invades Gallia, we are ready for battle. If our king wills it, war will come. I like it not. War brings pain. Sorrow. I keep switching Lethe's accent. You like, uh, Mordecai, like, Mordecai's text makes it look like he's got, uh, an accent, but not Lethe's. This is troubling. Enough. We have lost much time. Let us make for the palace. We must reach tonight's camp before the sun sets. Is the palace still far? On your skitty Bayork legs, it is very far, but we will do as we can. Three days later, at Castle Gallia, by the power of Gallia! My Lord Ike, everyone! Prince- Princess Alincia. I heard about Commander Grail. I- I don't know what to say. Don't worry, we're alright. We're getting by. Somehow. Oh, Ike. The king has arrived. Um, hey there. Thank you for coming to Gallia Palace. I'm Kynegus, ruler of the Kingdom of Gallia. These are the Grail mercenaries. I am Ike, their commander. You have been raised well, young pup. I didn't recognize you. What? When last you were here, you were still a small child. Is that y Is that you, Titania? It's good to see you. Pleasure is all- the- <laughs> God, I keep getting everyone mixed up here. The pleasure is all mine, your majesty. The two of you are friends? How- how does the king know me? Mm, I have something to tell you about your father, Grail. Lethe, Mordecai, leave us now. Prepare rooms so our guests may have a place to rest and heal their wounds. At once, my lord. Would it be best if I were to leave as well? No, princess, I would have you stay. And this one will also will stay. This is Gifka, my shadow. Pay him no heed no, uh, than you would the air. No more heed than you would the air, rather. Understood. I would have Titania and Sora stay with me as well. Me? So be it. Now then, where to begin? Titania, how much did Grail tell his son? Ike was raised with no knowledge of Gallia whatsoever, nor does he recall ever having been here. Is that so? Then it is best for me to tell him all that I know. Although that is not much. That's alright. Whatever you can tell me would be appreciated. I want to know more of my father. Mm, you have good eyes. Honest and brave. I see your father in them. Long ago, Grail, your father, worked as a mercenary for Gallia. We forged a strong bond, he and I. To speak truly, I still do not trust the Bayork, but your father was different. Princess Alincia's father, King Ramon, and his brother Lord Renning are also of a different kind. All are, or were, exceptional men. Men in whom one could put his trust. Oh, oh Titania, and you are ex an exception as well. Among Bayork females, you are unique. You are most gracious, your majesty. My father was a mercenary for Gallia. Correct! You and you and your sister? You were both born, uh, you were both born here in Gallia. You stayed here for only a short time, but uh, part of your childhood was spent within these borders. Mist and I were born here? Is that so? I don't remember any of this. I feel your parents were carrying a dark secret. Someone was hunting them, I'm sure of it. Once over ten years ago, and after your mother had been slain, your father chose to leave Gallia. Before he left, I went to him and asked him to share his tale. I asked him, why are you being chased? Is there anything I can do to help? But I was unable to loosen his tongue. And then I heard he had returned to Gallia, and I thought another chance to hear- I thought I had another chance to hear his tale. His fate was black indeed. If I had been faster, if I had hastened my steps, perhaps things would be different. Wait, now I understand. The voice I heard. That was you, wasn't it? 
His wound was fatal. I could do nothing. I thought it best not to interfere in his final moments, so I remained hidden. Tell me, Ike. At his last, did he confess anything to you? The identity of the Black Knight. Did he reveal it? The Black Knight? No, I don't know who he was. My father entrusted me with his command. Told me to trust the King, uh, King Canagus and live peacefully in, uh, in Gallia. He said to forget everything else. Is that so? Well then, let me do as I can. If any of your mercenaries desire to live, uh, live here, I will so arrange it. I will vouchsafe them homes and land. Your kindness is truly appreciated, but speaking for myself, I couldn't live here in peace. Not now. I will avenge my father. I cannot be so quick to for, uh, I cannot so quickly forget the past, or the Black Knight. But Ike, that's not- I know, I'm not- I'm not strong enough. An opponent who could defeat my father is well beyond my reach. But that's why I've devoted myself to growing stronger. I will lead my father's mercenaries and prepare for the day when my chance for his revenge arrives. A prudent course of action! You look as one who would be more impulsive, but you are his Grail's son after all. <laughs> You've matured, Ike. Seems like yesterday that you were merely a child. Titania. And now I would ask a boon of you. The strength of your mercenary band, Ike, would you lend it to Princess Alintia? Are you serious? King Kynagus! Gallian Crimea are allied nations. That cannot be denied. However, this alliance, uh, in reality, binds only the royal families. It is not respected by our citizenry. The people of Gallia are seldom seen in Crimea, are they? Even though our nations are friends, the people of Crimea have a uh, little understanding of the uh, real understanding of the Lagoos. Many of our people still use, still use that undignified name, Subhuman, when they speak of the Lagoos. My father's heart was filled with shame and sorrow over what you describe. More than any king in our history, he wanted to deepen relations between our people, and then... Perhaps that is why Dane targeted him. Their hatred of the Lagoos is well known. Could it be? In my heart of hearts, I would like to take guardianship of Princess Alincia and assist in rebuilding of Crimea. However, anti bayok sentiment runs high here in Gallia. If we were to offer safe harbor to Alincia, I feel many would el uh, of our elder statesmen would protest. They would say that we are giving Day an ideal excuse to attack. Which means Gallia can't offer Princess Alincia any relief at all, is that it? Unfortunately, it is true. My Lord Ike, King Kynagus has advised me to turn to the ba Benyon Theocracy for aid in Crimea's restoration. He says we should make for Benyon a, uh, we should make a, of Benyon a formal request and gain support from their shield of their shields. Passage to Benyon would require several months at sea. An escort would be necessary. As you know, we lack the numbers to serve as a complete mercenary army. So, if the princess were willing to hire us as an escort, it would be an offer beyond our expectations. Titania, Soren, I think perhaps we should accept the king's offer. What do you say? It's what you want, right, Commander? Well then, it's our job to follow you. However you wish to proceed is fine. I will do all in my power to ensure our road leads to success. Understood. As of now, the Grail mercenary, sh uh, mercenary shall assume the honor of serving as escort to Princess of Crimea. Princess Alincia, our journey together will undoubtedly be a long one. May we serve you well. Oh, thank you very much. I only pray that I, in turn, may be worthy of your service. Next time on Fire Emblem Path of Radiance! We are going to begin making our way to the sea in order to start heading towards the Benyon Theocracy. See you all next time! Later!